Hey, I'm David. I made this cool chest of drawers for a friend out of a few sheets of plywood. I'm using 9mm or 3 8 of an inch plywood. First, I cut up all the needed sheets to the correct size. Initially, I do a rough cut and then later sneak up on the correct dimension. I'm using some hardwood ply. The brand I buy doesn't specify which wood, but it looks good and is relatively cheap. For the base, however, I'm using some leftover birch ply. My friend is planning to paint this, so I don't mind the different types of wood. Here I'm cutting the lid and the back piece for the top. I decided to sand this before assembling. This is to avoid as much hand sanding as possible afterwards. Now the glue up. I applied some glue to the edges and spread it evenly with my little 3D printed glue spreader. Then I used my nailer to hold things in place while the glue dries. Note me checking things as square every once in a while using my speed square. As I mentioned last time, my nailer kind of sucks, so I have to hammer in the nails every once in a while ideal, but it's the workflow I've kind of gotten used to. I kept these scrap pieces lying around, which are the same height as the drawers I was planning on, and used them as separators to glue up the shell. After we nail it together, we repeat the process.
One of the shelves was sticking out quite a bit, so I used my sure form just to knock it back. And then, more sanding. was planning on painting this anyway, I decided to use some wood filler just to make sure all the gaps are filled in and everything's nice and smooth. This is my first time making drawers, so I was quite nervous going into this. I cut down the sheets of plywood into the rough size that I needed. Because of where I keep the camera, you see me flip over the plywood to continue the cuts. This is purely to avoid knocking the camera with the wood. I got out my crosscut sledge and cut all the drawer sides to the correct sizes. You see me go back every once in a while just to make sure that everything fits correctly. assembling the drawers, I put the top together. That's the front face, the back face, and part of the lid that's attached.
if you can tell, but I was quite happy with how this was going. For the record, I think that was a Queens of the Stone Age song. For the drawer bottom, I simply cut some slots using my table saw. Every once in a while measuring up against the piece of wood that I wanted to fit into the base. If there was one thing I could have done differently here, it would have been to put some masking tape over the piece that I was cutting. This would prevent a lot of the tear up. Another option would simply to just not have a cross cut. Thankfully, only my test pieces were cutting across the grain. assembly was relatively painless. Basically just glue all the pieces together, slot the base in, put the front on, I used this new band clamp, and then started to nail everything together. Nails were basically just to hold things in place for the glue to dry. Once it was together, do a test fit to see how much sanding I have to do. Not everything was perfectly square, so quite a bit was needed. First sanding was at 80 grit, and then I switched it up to 
I needed to shorten the bolts. I was so concentrated on this that I didn't even notice Leroy walk in. I've never shortened bolts before, and I don't have an angle grinder, so I put a bit on my Dremel and cut them down to size. To position them, I found the center using my measuring tape, and then measured up 3 centimeters from the base. Then I kind of eyeballed the rest and made sure it sort of fit okay. I should have put some masking tape on the inside here. There was a little bit of blowout. Thankfully the bolt heads are quite big so it covered it up nicely. You might notice I'm using a drill driver which I didn't have last time. It's the cheapest combo set I could find above a certain power. So far, quite happy with it. I didn't manage to record putting the lid on, but it was simply two small hinges screwed in from the top. The final piece to do was the dividers. I cut some very thin plywood down to the correct height to fit inside the drawers. I kept the drawer with me, constantly measuring and sneaking up on the correct size for the divider. I simply glued these into place. I made a little spacer jig, which was basically the correct width with a screw drilled into it that I could easily pull it in and out. that's really all there was to this project. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy with the result. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when she paints it. I'll share those pictures on my Instagram account. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.